Uh, I am uh, Dr. Kyoko Onomatsui, uh, who is the president of Japan Myopia Society and the president of the 17th International Myopia Conference here in Tokyo. Yes, that's right. Yes, yes. We uh, we won the bid, <laughs> and two years uh, two years ago in Birmingham, and since then uh, we as a mem we, we together with the board members of the Japan Myopia Society and also the staff members of uh, the Department of Ophthalmology at Tokyo Medical and Dental University, we did our best uh, so that we could uh, have a. a, a have a better conference, a good conference. So many people, uh, mainly uh, two, two doctors, two assistant professors who are mainly irresponsible. But in addition to them, uh, all of our staff members who are uh, 25 or 30, and also uh, all PhD students and all optometrists, and so uh, all uh, technicians. Uh, so many, so many members, maybe 40, 30 or 40 uh, people uh, have worked hard for this conference and uh, many of them work in the, the during the day so after the day uh, obligation is over after the clinic or operations and we have prepared so so in the evening <laughs> yes yes that's right in the evening or on weekend Uh, so far, we have had uh, 827, and I think which is by far the most uh, in the in the, in the history of international myopia conference. Yeah, I I don't know, but uh, one reason is that uh, people are, are getting more and more interested in myopia, and these days, uh, myopia prevention, uh, for example. Uh, low dose atropine or multifocal contact lens and also K and uh, uh, treatments have been available for myopia prevention and also a new treatment for pathologic myopia com complications like myopic CNV so anti-VEGF is available so treatments have been available for many aspects of myopia uh, is one reason to attract more people and also uh, the location uh, uh, this time many attendees uh, came from China mm. because of close proximity and uh, myopia is more prevalent in Asia Asians so uh, the conference is held in Asia uh, attracted more Asian doctors here Yes, many, <laughs> actually many messages, but uh, uh, this this is the very rare conference uh, where uh, basic researchers and optometrists and ophthalmologists and with different background and with different uh, uh, subspecialties, different fields of research get together. So I learned a lot and uh, so uh, yeah, uh, myopia prevent. Especially, I think a highlight is myopia prevention, and among the submissions, actually the number of submissions was the most in pharmacological approach and treatment of myopia. So uh, in this in this conference, uh, long term uh, uh, the data of low dose atropine have been presented, and also a new. Possibilities, new therapeutic approaches have been presented, so uh, that is also uh, very uh, interesting. And also, genetic data and animal myopia models uh, have been interesting. And also, I have learned uh, that uh, imaging technologies have been greatly advanced. And uh, I saw uh, one lecture from Singapore, and it showed uh, biomechanical properties of sclera by using ultrasound. And 
So uh, we can see a morphology of sclera or choroidal retina, but uh, sclera, biomechanical aspect of sclera is very important mm -hmm. for uh, developing myopia and also a sclera targeting therapies. So I, uh, I think it's, it's one of the, uh, what's a big advancement. And also, uh, uh, Kali Lam in Hong Kong uh, developed dim lens, and I think it's also a huge uh, breakthrough. And she will uh, report her data uh, in a farewell seminar to yes. today. Yes. yes. Okay. Because I think this is the biggest uh, myopia uh, conference among uh, many myopia conferences. And uh, uh, so, uh, yes, it, it, there is uh, my, many myopia presentations in ARBO or Asia Pacific Myopia Society, uh, several myopia conferences. But this is every two years. So for two years, uh, all people uh, they collect their data and uh, they present the best data in uh, two years. Mm. So it's it's still, I think, the high uh, quality of presentation. So uh, there actually there were some discussions that uh, because myopia research has been advanced, so we should have every year uh, this meeting every mm. year. But still, uh, we keep a uh, two year uh, every two years. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, so this uh, this international myopia conference is still different yeah. from uh, uh, other conferences. Yes, yes, that's right. And uh, yes, in Rotterdam, uh, it is exciting to be for this meeting conference to be held in Europe. But this time, through this uh, 17th conference, a lot more new doctors are uh, joined. Uh, many, for the first time, participated in this meeting because this was held in Asia. So I think many doctors from Asian region will go to Rotterdam. And also, uh, in Asia, we have many pathological myopia. So uh, pathologic myopia has been a new area uh, which is incorporated in this International Myopia Conference. So we, I, I hope uh, many more studies from pathologic myopia from Asia also. Uh, we, we will make presentations in Rotterdam. So uh, many, many areas of myopia research have developed and uh, in combined in a good way and in a balanced way so i hope that aspect in rotterdam too mm. and uh, so now i'm looking forward to attending uh, rotterdam and uh, yes yes so many different regions are uh, are being will be fruitful and uh, uh what i develop in a very balanced way Yes, Japanese, uh, it is a big, big concern uh, in myopia. And many uh, doctors, many optometrists and op op orthopedists and uh, ophthalmologists know that myopia is a big concern. But uh, uh, for epidemiology, we are behind because the government is not so uh, supportive uh, compared to uh, other Asian countries, for example, China, Chinese, the Chinese government has a huge support mm. uh, for myopia prevention. But uh, uh, this year, uh, the national TB program interviewed this conference as well. And, and having this conference in Japan, I think it will be a huge, big step toward the government help. So uh, based on the results of, the, of this conference, we will push uh, the government and so uh, national policy will be useful and also in the future international mafia conference will make a society and a global uh, statement and uh, uh, to get a global help is a big i think is an expected role for this uh, society
first of all, uh, thank you very much for attending to this International Mafia Conference, from, not only from Japan, Asia, but also from many, many countries. Uh, we have so many, I can't count the number of countries uh, where attendees came from. And uh, I really feel that uh, great presentation and great discussion and great attendees make the conference. And so I would like uh, to thank you uh, all, or thank all attendees and all speakers. And so, uh, uh, so uh, I hope uh, this conference, uh, what, uh, what, what was uh, the, uh, uh, st stated and discussed, presented in this conference is useful for everybody and it will be a great step for everybody uh, toward uh, future myopia research.